After taking a regulatory battering earlier this year, Binance is back, or at least the world's busiest crypto exchange will hope so. The platform has been bolstered by news that it is talking to sovereign wealth funds who are interested in taking a stake in the platform, that it's establishing a new base in Ireland and raising a couple of hundred million dollars in a forthcoming funding round in the US. Speaking to the Financial Times, the Binance mastermind and CEO Changpeng Cici Zhao stated that potential sovereign wealth fund deals would help the firm boost its perception and relationships with governments around the world. The media outlet noted that Zhao declined to say which funds the company was in discussions with, but quoted the Binance chief as stating that the ticket size involved will not be small. But he added a note of caution, stating that it won't be a short process, and may also tie us to specific. The firm found itself under fire from regulators in multiple nations, including Germany, the United Kingdom, Singapore, and Thailand. Zhao refuted notions that exchanges like Binance are being crazy by not operating with traditional banking sector type licenses, and added, I'm a very calm guy. I'm not a crazy guy. The Irish Independent reported that the firm has expanded its footprint in Ireland just weeks after Zhao was quoted elsewhere as stating that Binance does intend to open a central HQ at some point in the future. Numerous tech firms have established bases in Ireland in recent years, lured mainly by low business rates of just over 12%, although that is now set to change following a US President Joe Biden-led global deal on corporate tax reform. Regardless, the same media outlet noted that following the creation of three new firms in Ireland last month, Binance registered another in November, named Binance Exchange, e. The firm had previously created Binance, APAC, Holdings, Binance, Services, Holdings and Binance Technologies in Ireland, with Zhao listed as a director of all four firms.